Hello and welcome. This is Ruval Monger. My friends, it is Rashid Day. Rashid is now out for Street Fighter 6, and not only is he out, there is an associated patch which adds some new content to the game, not the least of which adding Rashid to the World Tour mode. So in this video, we're going to talk about Rashid himself, and also, even though this is not like a major balance patch or anything, the patch did fix some bugs, it did add some changes to the game, so we're going to talk about those as well. And that said, I'll start with the patch notes, and then we'll move on to Rashid. Also, the patch notes, I'll put a link to those in the video description, and for World Tour mode, there is more additions to World Tour besides just adding Rashid, make sure to check out the Hagar Stadium. So the patch added some decent changes to the drive rush mechanic. So one of the things out of the gate is, you know how you could like hit a normal forward forward you drive rush, right? You can still do that, that's still there. But now there's an input shortcut. So if you do a drive rush cancelable normal, and for Rashid, in this case, it'll be crouch medium kick as an example. Instead of just hitting forward forward to do the drive rush, you can now just instead hit the two mediums together. So you don't have to move your hand to get any inputs going or anything, just hit the two mediums and for those of you that might have struggled a little bit, just inputting the forward forward, like if you can't get fast enough or just can't work with the buffer, this is much easier overall. Just once again, medium punch, medium kick after whatever move that is drive rush cancelable and it'll give you the drive rush out of the gate. Another change is lights, specifically lights, not mediums, not heavies, lights. If you try to drive rush cancel a light on whiff, you can now, as you can see here. So. You can either do it manually, or you can do it via the shortcut we just mentioned. This does nerf some certain strategies revolving around whiffing lights, because now if you whiff a light and go to the drive rush, you'll just drive rush, right? Although it does add some interesting additions to the game. This change also lets you drive rush without a full bar. So normally the parry would take up the first bit of the bar, and then the drive rush would take up the other half of the bar, right? But now, even with this little bit left here, it skips the whole entering the parry part of the animation and just goes directly into the drive rush. So it does give you a free drive rush in a situation you otherwise could never get. So that is pretty interesting. Now for some other bug fix stuff, we got some good news and some bad news. So Zangief, Zangief, I mentioned in a previous video, he was in the burnout state longer than anybody else. No rhyme or reason. He just was in burnout longer, which made him even worse. Struggle even more than he currently does right now. It's normalized. So Zangief, even though he still don't want to be in Burnout, right? Zangief recovers in Burnout the same as any other character. So that weird negative slant against him is now fixed. It works the same as everybody else. So even though it's a bug fix, you can consider that a buff. Now, for bug fixes that you can definitely consider a nerf, Lily. So Lily, EX Condor Spire, I made a whole video about it a couple weeks back. She could do it while jumping backwards. Not intentional, definitely a bug, but I figured, well, you know, She's not great, and she can use anything that she can get her hands on, you know? So that'd be awesome, let her use it. And no, unfortunately not. Uh, Jump Backwards EX Spire has now been taken out of the game. She can no longer do it. So I believe in the original video, I told you use it while you can, because now the option is straight up gone. You cannot use it anymore. Now they did give her something in return, which is not as good in my opinion, but it's better than nothing, that her level two super. So her level two super, you can do in the air, which is good. And now you can do it while jumping backwards in the air. So if for whatever reason you're jumping backwards and someone's directly in your face air to air, it's an option you have now. So she could not really do this before, now she can. So that is a buff. Although once again, EX Spire jumping backwards was much better, but Sela V, I guess we can remember the good times. So uh, for Lily, a nerf and a buff, although technically they're both bug fixes according to the patch. Now let's talk Rashid. So Rashid, out of the gate before we talk about gameplay, he's just very well animated, just walking around, just like a lot of the basic stuff, even like a lot of his moves here, just he's exceptionally well animated. The cloth physics are really good as well. They bounce around really good without clipping through the character, all that kind of stuff. He's just very interesting in that way. Like there's a lot of life in this character, which is good because you know, he's a super energetic guy, which is great. Even stuff like his burnout. I do like when he's specifically walking backwards, he's like, whoa, 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 hey, 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 you know, I'm just a little guy, what are you doing? And he's just walking backwards, just absolutely terrified. I love that. They didn't have to go that far, and they did, so I think that's really, really cool. Kind of think of it, since he's like a streamer, this is like a stream prank gone wrong, something like that. So as for his gameplay, 
So one of the things, in case you just don't know, right? Uh, Rashid, if you hold his dash, he actually can run, making him the only character with a proper run, like, you know, outside of Drive Rush, right? And he maintains a lot of his old specials. He still has Whirlwind, still has Eagle Spike, all that kind of stuff. Although he's got some new stuff, which is very, very interesting. So first, not the least, which is like the movement, because uh, <laughs> dude's a little bananas in that regard. Uh, he has Command Dash, it passes through the enemy. You can use the Command Dash to also jump. And you can do far jumps, you can do close jumps. He has the double jump as a special move. That's of course go back kick in the air. And uh, the heavier the button, the further he'll jump out. That's great. And also has combo ability options as well. Has command normals like jump down heavy punch, which is basically like a pogo normal. Like almost like Rolento or like Yoskaku or something for uh, Chun-Li. And just lets him bounce again. And from that bounce you can like double jump and just do all this nonsense, right? So like... If you want silly movement options, Rashid's the guy. Not the least of which is he has a new mechanic that creates these little dust devils here, these mini whirlwinds. And if you do things like run through them, it'll turbocharge them. If you want to jump through them, his jumps will basically become like an anime or versus game super jump. Naturally, things like Eagle Spike get turbocharged through it. And also, while we're at it here, let's talk about Eagle Spike really quickly because there was a bit of worry. So Eagle Spike. Heavy Eagle Spike does like almost a full drive gauge worth of damage, right? So the fear was he's like the next Honda, the next Blanca, and the one thing is the Eagle Spike has exceptional recovery. So let me allay your fears on that. Yes, it does push the enemy back quite a bit, but like even Zangief can dash and get a punish counter, right? So if Zangief can catch up to that, don't worry, the rest of the cast is mostly going to be a non-issue. He has to sort of do Eagle Spike inside of combos or roll the dice if he's going to do a neutral because the punish will definitely be there that said though if he does it through the little dust devils like there's no catching him like it's not possible so that will make eagle spike safe but that's only sometimes as you can't always have the whirlwinds up specifically only three moves can create it the arabian cyclone which is one of his new moves where it's basically just a big kick followed by a little tornado and by itself it's basically as advertised right uh one thing you can do with it though is by hitting either forward or backwards kick after it you can either roll under or you can basically fly as it were into the air like his uh, v skill 2 and both of them allow for follow-up so with the roll you get the old classic v skill 1 spike and if you do the back kick version you literally can do any air normal afterwards so that's good uh, the ex version specifically creates the whirlwind so if you're looking to do it uh, either in neutral to create it then you can follow up with it after the fact and of course, turbocharge as many moves like spinning mixer gets a million hits, become super plus on block, you can combo after the fact. And of course, naturally, you can just you know, do it in combos, right? So, whatever you want to do, the options are there. And you don't have to spend meter. So, his classic projectile is still there, and you can hold and delay it a little bit. And if you hold it all the way, it will create the whirlwind. So, you have to do something like right away because it's only there for a split second. But it'll be enough for a fast eagle spike or a spinning mixer, or if you want to do, you know, basically, you know, effectively, once again, a super jump, whatever you want, the mobility options are there for you. And of course, naturally, his level two effectively gives the buff the whole time the level two is up. And also, when it's done, it will leave the cyclone after the fact. So you can do whatever you want with it. So that's really good. So hopefully, I've impressed upon you all sorts of mobility gimmicks and gigaws that Rashid has. And the one thing that I was surprised with a little bit, he does not have bad normals. I figured that'd be the breaking point, if anything was. And I'm not going to say he has exceptional normals across the board, but like stuff like stand, medium kicks, definitely a workhorse, very fast, eight frame startup. Uh, also, on top of being a decent poke, it is good combo fodder, because up close it will go into stand, medium punch. And stand, medium punch also has a target combo and has a lot of combo ability. Like basic example, but you can do a partially charged tornado and then follow up like this. Or if you want to get a bit more fancy, partially charged tornado, command normal M mixer, and you can land and do a EX mixer right after the fact, right? So cool juggle potential. Uh, combos, he definitely has them. Another normal I do like is stand heavy kick. By itself, 13 frame startup, it's, it's got pretty decent range. I wouldn't put it like an, as an all timer or anything, but it definitely works. It's also a punish counter move, which is a very interesting punish counter as it kind of launches them right up and brings them into you a little bit. So you can easily go for like a spinning mixer or something like that, like easy 2k damage. It's not like revelatory, but it certainly will work. Absolutely brimming with command normals as well. 
So for Media Punch Returns from Street Fighter V, a little different animation. The first hit is Special Cancelable, and you'll be using that in a lot of combos because the first hit will juggle aerial opponents and they can cancel that into a special, so that's really handy. Forward Heavy Punch is the overhead, and as you can see here, quite a bit of range. Uh, hits from a decent amount away, so that's handy. Forward Heavy Kick is specifically a Command Normal tailored to beat lows. So if the enemy is doing the old back and forth going for lows, then you can bop him in the head. The punish counter gives more frame advantage, so he can link like a stand medium punch after the fact. Give you a basic idea, right? Uh, as far as like combos and all, I'll get it more optimal over time. This is certainly day one where we don't have everything figured out. When it comes to command normals in the air, we mentioned jump down heavy punch, which is effectively a pogo here. He also has neutral jump, neutral jump only, doesn't work on forward or backwards jumps. Neutral jump up heavy kick, which is very interesting. At the bare minimum, it does pop enemies up in the air. So it keeps like a bit of a juggle state and you can hit the enemy after the fact. And of course, he still has wall jumps and all that kind of stuff. And we mentioned he has command dashes, all that kind of stuff earlier in the video to start here. So he's got a lot of toys, a lot, a lot to work with. So one thing that I mentioned in the previous video about Rashid is it looked like he had an ability to stop cross ups, right? So we have a cross up here and turns out, yeah, heavy spinning mixer stops everything dead. Doesn't matter what it is. As you can see here, it actually hits behind him, unlike every other character in the game. So if you're looking to stop jump-ins, Spinning Mixer is the one to go for. Now, one caveat, one caveat. So it does look like against a regular jump, it is not frame one air invincible, like say a Shoryuken or something like that. It does have some air invincibility. According to the Capcom website, it starts on frame six though. So you do have to be on the ball at least a little bit. If you're trying to do it like last possible second though, it's not gonna work out in your favor. But once again, it does beat cross-ups. It does beat enemies behind you, the heavy spinning mixer, so that's great. And uh, if they are far away, the medium spinning mixer also has air invincibility. Although once again, just like the heavy, as you saw, I got counter hit, right? Uh, it only starts on frame six and up. So strong anti-air, but you have to work for it just a little bit also. Crouch Medium Punch is like also an amazing anti-air button too, by the way, so don't worry about that. If you just want your one button anti-airs, it will absolutely be there for you. As for his general offense, Stand Medium Punch is plus on block, Crouch Medium Punch is plus on block, and the heavy version of Arabian Whirlwind, if you do the forward kick roll through, that also leaves you plus on block. So plus frames are not difficult to get, especially on the opponent's wake up. Let me show you an example here. So I can do a mildly basic combo here, uh, what I showed you off already, right? And after this combo, you are plus 35. So you can have a lot of plus frames to work with, right? And you can do frame kills, like, you know, dash, all the stuff to kill it. But you can also do stuff like that Arabian Whirlwind. So the thing here, if you do it right away, it hits super meaty and then, well, as you can see here, plus three, right? So if it's plus three, it's still your turn, naturally enough. So you can start hitting buttons, all that kind of stuff. It's great. Now, the one thing, admittedly, so the move Arabian Cyclone, specifically, it has a decent amount of startup, right? So you can kind of see it coming. Like, if they see that animation, you can just go for DP right away. And that's about all she wrote. Much the same here. The characters that don't have traditional reversals, they can still, like, do a super or something, right? And Rashid, because the animation's more involved, he can't get out in time. But... That's because this move counts as a physical strike. Now, the tornadoes, right? You know, your little projectiles, those are not physical strikes. So situations where you can land toss a tornado and you can like delay just a little bit. What's gonna happen is a character like Lily, that level one super is strike and throw invincible, yes, but it's not projectile invincible. So Lily basically has no option to defend herself in that situation other than do a level two or a level three super. That's it, that's all. And perhaps it's not as good as Arabian Cyclone on their wake up, but still, if you want to like just do a tiny hold here, I'm still plus, right? So I still get plus frames. And for, frankly, the lesser characters of the cast that have bad defense like Lily, uh, they're kind of screwed against Rashid in a lot of ways. Not the least of which for abusing people. Rashid has an incredibly easy throw loop. Just throw, forward dash, tiny delay, throw, and Bob's your uncle. Keeps going and yeah, throw loop city. So the options for offense are certainly there. Now to mention his level two super. So in a lot of ways it works exactly like you'd think, right? You can toss it out, mostly be safe, toss out eagle spikes, all that kind of stuff, drain a lot of guard gauge damage and hide behind the actual projectile the whole time, right? 
good amount of guard gauge damage done right there. The one thing is it seems like it's a little bugged. So naturally, it travels forward in and of itself, right? And after a certain number hits on block, it dissipates and it leaves a whirlwind behind for you to turbocharge or move forward. That's great. But you can kind of gimmick it and get way more hits than you're normally supposed to. So as you can see, probably shouldn't be lasting this long, right? Except, well, it is lasting this long. Obviously, I would say not intentional as you can effectively drain the opponent's entire drive gauge and if they're in burnout. Well, if they're in burnout, well, it's bad news bears, isn't it? Because uh, you can do more damage than you can ever actually do with the actual super itself than uh, with them blocking and taking all the ship damage, right? If they just stand there and take it. So yeah, it's. I gotta assume this is not intentional because it only works if you kind of exactly hit with the tip of the super and then kind of walk them and force them to keep blocking, right? If it just hits by itself, it will dissipate on its own. But yeah, that's probably something, once again, not intentional, probably definitely a bug um, and probably will be patched out soon enough because we don't want someone winning EVO by dealing 50% block damage with a bugged out super. And that's a little preview of Rashid. And overall, with my impressions of him on day one, I think he's pretty good. I don't think maybe he'll be like the top tier game defining threat we all thought he might be, but I think he's got some stuff to work with. And I think when it all shakes out, he'll probably wind up being one of the better members of the cast, if only for the fact that he has so, so many options, especially compared to a lot of the rest of the cast. And options are king in the end. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe he'll be bottom tier after two weeks. I don't know, right? I'm just guessing based on my day one impressions here. But that said, I think he's cool in the end. And given the relative uh, love put into the character, both in the animations, both in the moveset and all that kind of stuff, I'm really looking forward to seeing how Aki, Ed, and Akuma will look as the future DLC characters. Because if Rashid is the baseline, then the future DLC is going to be really something special. So all that said, I guess we're wrapping up. Once again, keep checking the channel. I'll have a combo guide for you soon, a big guide not too long from now, and just really digging deep into Rashid and everything he can do. And until then, well, thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well, and go out and play some Street Fighter.